Very often, the door that unlocks a young person's destiny in the Lord is found down a hallway where their parents' ability to protect them ends. Now, I'm not a mom yet, but as a writer, it's my job to be a student of human emotion in order to create the most dynamic characters possible. So I can easily imagine that it's extremely hard for a parent to watch their child struggle through all the different growing pains and eventually feel the cords of their control being severed. Now, this happened to Jacob in Genesis when Joseph was separated from him right when the two of them were certain that God was up to something, giving the young man insight through his dreams. It would have been very easy for Jacob to conclude that God had not been faithful to him or his son. It would have been easy for Joseph to choose to forget everything his father had taught him about the God of Israel and sink into bitterness and despair. But instead, what we know from scripture is that Joseph persevered and fought his own battle. Even though it looked radically different from the battles his father had fought, he obtained the revelation he needed personally from God and achieved the destiny he and his father longed for, even though Jacob wasn't there the whole time to facilitate it happening. Now, I'm sure that if Jacob could have seen what Joseph would face as a slave and prisoner in Egypt, he would have wanted to protect him from it, pre prevent him from experiencing it. He would have wanted to spare them both all those years of grief and pain. But we can all learn a lot from what God did in this story in the end. Joseph's story teaches us that it's okay to not understand something in the moment, to not have the perfect answer that perfectly consoles yourself or your child. It's okay to release yourself, your circumstances, and your children into God's hands and trust him to do something beautiful, even with circumstances that really aren't. It's okay, and it's even healthy and needed, to allow your kids to become comfortable with an element of mystery, because that creates a hunger that will drive them after the Lord himself for more personal revelation that will change their lives. So all you Jacobs and Rachels out there, declare the truth, lead by example, and let your kids have their own wrestling matches with God. It's painful at first, but you will marvel at the blessing that emerges when they refuse to let him go.